Hello, my name is Anne, and we're back with another video. Today, I'm going to review one of the GSI ROMs for the Galaxy J7 2016, uh, and it is called Evolution X. Let's go ahead and take a look. So, in case uh, some of you haven't caught up to my last video, uh, basically, Project Trouble, in the name of Project Spagget, have been released for the Galaxy J7 2016, J7 Prime, J7 Pro, J5 Pro, etc. And uh, brought with it, um, you know, a lot of potentially GSI ROMs for the Galaxy J7 and for those phones. And uh, since then, there have been many changes. Um, many things have changed. Many things have changed since uh, my last video dropped. And I'm gonna name a couple of them. Um, the first thing is that I want to address uh, my misinformations about my last video. Um, is that the A3, A6, and J6 uh, don't support Spagit. Okay, they have the separate vendors for that. Alright, so if you want to um, um, go in depth, that uh, I will put the links in my other videos, in my last video. Okay, and then uh, uh, last but not least, uh, the new kernel has. The new Kono has got some updates, the Kraken Project Butter Kono's, right? yeah, remember that? That has got to the uh, build E-Type, right, with uh, many fixes and faster charging and more under the hood uh, optimizations. So let's take a look, uh, first of all, let's take a look at this ROM. Uh, this is the Evolution X. Uh, a lot of people have uh, been uh, telling me this is the best ROMs and uh, you should definitely review it and um, it definitely is uh, it is a great combination of performance and a battery life um, that I would probably recommend it over pixel experience in any day first let's talk about all the features that you can expect with Evolution X you know first of all we have the pixel launcher you know the typical pixel launcher that you guys have all very known and love um, actually and uh, the reason why it's so fast on yeah, the Pixel Launcher is because other ROMs that I've tested have the Launcher launcher uh, built in and that launcher is still in alpha stage so it's not very fast. In fact, it's kind of laggy. So um, that's why the Pixel Launcher is here and it's very fast. Um, also, if you go into settings and the Evolution X, you'll be, you'll be greeted with a host of customizations and options that you can play around with, right? I'm just gonna, uh, you can pause the video. Um, I'm just gonna go through, uh, just scrolling through them. Uh, if you guys find, uh, caught any, if you guys catch anything that uh, appeal to you, you can pause the video, right? But basically, um, at, at heart, it is a, a lot of features. Not as uh, much as like, you know, Havoc OS, which you know I have actually tested and it's not very fast. Um, this thing has less customizations, but it's faster and more stable. Right, that's the, something I have to say. Okay, so uh, those are all the features that you can expect. Um, but it's not perfect though. It's actually it still lacks a couple of features, and those features are pretty uh, important to me. Uh, and those features even uh, exist on AOSP or Pixel Experience. The first uh, bug, the first thing that is missing is the dark mode. I mean, dark mode is here, but uh, you just can't change the dark mode depending on the time of day, okay? Which means that, you know, on uh, in the morning, it would go light mode, if you uh, turn sunset and, you know, in, in, uh, at night, it will turn dark mode. Just like that, like that, and it's not present here, okay? And it's kind of infuriating to me. I mean, uh, some people have actually talked, tell, told me that this is a very important feature. It's better, even more important than uh, the autom automatic dark mode by wallpaper. You know, the fact that I never really uh, change wallpapers, you know, is one of the factors. And then for some reason, the night light which is the uh, uh, blue light filter on this ROM, uh, dims the display and there's no option to turn it off. Okay, that's uh, also a little bit. Um, so that's all the things that I miss from Evolution X. Um, now let's talk about all the bugs uh, for a minute. Um, because there 
uh, actually a lot of bugs on this ROM. A lot of GSI in general, okay? This is not an Evolution X bugs. This is a GSI bugs, right? Um, not a lot, but uh, very, very minor ones. They're not gonna really affect your user experience in any way. Uh, but I'm s still worth mentioning. Uh, the first is that the home button wake up does not work at all, okay? Uh, not even Evolution X, not even Pixel Experience, not even AOSP. The home button wake up does not work, okay? You still have to use the power button to wake it up. Uh, it's exactly, exactly the same as Pixel Experience, uh, non treble The home button still works though, of course, okay? Home button still works, but the uh, home, but uh, if your device is locked, you cannot use the home button. And then, um, this is a pretty big one for me. Um, sometimes when I wake up the phone, the touchscreen would completely freeze. Yeah, the touchscreen would completely not work. It would completely, like, not working for as until I reboot the phone. Um, and it can be fixed by reboot or um, the way to sort of avoid it, to sort of circumvent it, is to turn off ambient display. Yeah, the the peak display, the always on display, you know, and stuff. Um, also, it's kind of minor, but uh, there will be a there's a sound delay, um, especially the system sounds. You know, when you uh, touch and something, it will sort of has a sound, right? Um, that will be kind of delay. You know, when I tap on something, for example. And when I tap on something, it, it, the sound doesn't come like until one or half a second or a second later, which is kind of bit kind of big deal. Of course, you can just uh, turn it off, but um, if you guys really love system sounds, that might be an issue. Um, and then there is the signal bar on the status bar. It is not present. Now, don't don't get it the wrong way though. Uh, the signal does work, okay? SIM works, 3G for LTE works just fine. Uh, calling, voice quality is uh, impeccable, but the uh, signal bar is not going to appear on the lo on the status bar. No matter uh, how I did, no matter um, how I did by using system UI tuner, it still doesn't work. Um, and then there's the camera. Uh, I'm going to talk about the G cam for a bit, okay? But uh, basically, uh, if you if you go into any camera app, you will see there is a bit of a stretch, right? Let me just put my hand over here, right? And you can see that my hand looks a little cropped. Right? It looks a little very stretched in. It doesn't look natural, and you know, and it's just uh, very thin, right? Very slim. Right? That is the camera stretch. Now, don't worry because when you take the picture, especially with Gcam, the um, uh, the, the, the image, the final result is not stretched. It will be fine, just fine. And um, you can use something like the Foot EJ camera, uh, Foot EJ camera um, right here, right? The Foot EJ camera to uh, sort of make it better, you know. Um, and then another big one is the video recording. Video recording is sort of bug and almost unusable um there are many ways to, to, to describe this okay um if you use any of the camera app first of all there is the aosp camera of course the crap aosp camera if you use the aosp aosp camera to record videos um the video would be not working i mean it will still give out videos but the the, the audio will play but the the, the 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 video won't play right it's very buggy and then if you use the, 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 the Gcam, right, and you switch to video mode, it will crash, okay? It will crash. And then if you use the Foot EJ camera, and use the video mode, it will result in a stretch, right? Uh, uh, both the viewfinder and the, the final video will be stretched. So I guess it's kind of bug altogether. Um, there's a lot more, but uh, there are. I'm just gonna talk about here. So just you know, brief them through. The uh, random reboots on the J7 Prime uh, storage does take up more. Okay, out of the box. Um, and then there's a uh, media transfer protocol. 
which is a protocol that helps with uh, connecting your PC to your smartphone, your J7. Um, that has been fixed, okay? That has been fixed with the latest E-Type of the Project Protocol. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, uh, next I'm going to talk about some of the things I really love about GSI. The first uh, is actually the GCam. Uh, with you know that with the previous versions of you know with non triple AOSP ROMs, um, if you want to get some decent pictures out of this phone, uh, you kind of have to go foot EJ, which isn't very good at processing processing video uh, photos. Um, but with GSI's, uh, which is now you know makes your J7 ARM64 compatible, you can now run GCam, and GCam on this thing just blows me away. I mean, it just spoils me in every way possible. The image quality, the dynamic range, I mean, just that is the phone, the poetry mode that I shot, that I took. It's, you know, it's so amazing. You get the portrait mode from the, uh, the chase, from, you know, uh, the Pixel 2. And look at that, look at this uh, photos here. Uh, crazy good dynamic range, right? took many uh, pictures outdoors and um, none of these really failed to impress me. This thing, this thing just looks really, really impressive. The only problem that I noticed is that it's kind of shady on the side, on the edges. But I don't think that's a big of an issue. I mean, this camera is not very good, but with Gcam, it really makes it good. It really puts it, in another, puts it to another level. Um, and then there's no night sight, which is kind of explanatory, self-explanatory, because the G cam I'm using is the Pixel 2 camera and not Pixel 3 camera. Okay. Um, uh, next, I want to talk about performance and battery life. Just gonna you know talk uh, real quick. Uh, performance has been very solid, of course, with Evolution X, right? Uh, Pixel launcher, everything is fast, just like my Pixel experience that I tested the other day, right? You know, going through day-to-day -day performance, it's just really solid. Okay. Like everything from um, watching videos to you know so browsing social medias is a breeze. And uh, also, I tested PUBG, right, PUBG Mobile, and um, while the phone doesn't drain as much battery, uh, the frame rate is kind of mediocre, right, around 20 frames per second, maybe even worse. Um, you can use something like GFX tool to enhance that PUBG experience, but I don't really recommend it because it can uh, make you get banned from PUBG. Okay, um, so I don't want to be responsible for that. Right, I'm just telling you um, not to do it. You know, you can use it, but it's not recommended. Um, and then, <clears throat> yeah, I guess that's it. I mean. Um, yeah, also with battery life, uh, since this GSI ROMs, every GSI ROMs have has deep sleep working. Okay, deep sleep is working on all GSI ROMs. Uh, you can get a really impressive battery life. Okay, so let me just head into my. I got around like seven to six to seven hours of on-screen time. Okay, that is like with really intense usage. <laughs> no, I'm actually not. Pretty moderate usage, you know, only PUBG and a couple of uh, and a few hours of social media. That's it. I can get through seven hours, uh, two days of battery life, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, really impressive battery life. Uh, really great performance. Not a lot of uh, huge bugs. Only video recordings, um, and that's basically it. That's uh, GSI ROMs for you. Um, I guess I have nothing to say. This is uh, basically the best GSI ROMs I've ever used, the Evolution X. Um, there, there, there might be other better ROMs, but in my short time testing, this thing has been blowing me away. Um, so, if you guys were to ask me a question, like, should I install Project Spagget? The answer is no-brainer, definitely should. Um, there's really no harm in doing it. You know, you can revert it if you want. Um, and you can still use non trouble ROMs with uh, trouble enabled. Okay, so there's no there's no issue with that. Um, and with uh, you know trouble, you have uh, really really solid GSI ROMs like this one. 
that you know has deep sleep working um, everything like that working just NFC and VoLTE and uh, front flash something like that's not working those are obvious ones but um, other than that this is probably the, the closest to perfections that you know, any AOSP ROMs can ever reach right so that's uh, all I can say about uh, GSI ROMs I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to uh, know how to install uh, this project Spagit uh, I will link you to another video okay uh, but basically that's all for this video uh, thank you guys for watching and if you like this video hit the like button if you love it hit the subscribe button and comments down below uh, if you have any uh, more questions so anyways thank you and goodbye